The legendary South Korean director Bong Joon-ho has seven feature films that all have completely different plots but still feel very much like they operate in the same world. One distinct trait of Bong's films is that they are very genre fluid, often switching back and forth between so many different feelings. This being the most evident in his Oscar-winning behemoth, Parasite, which moves rapidly between comedy and drama and thrilling moments, but it never feels helter-skelter. It combines into something that is uniquely his. This is in part because of his love of genre films, which he describes as running through his veins, but also having a feeling of wanting to reject them and tear down their conventional boundaries when making his films. This is also evident in a film like The Host, which has direct homages to classic monster movies, but rejects your expectations for what that type of film can be. Another of his defining characteristics is just how meticulous he can be. With the planning and storyboarding of a project typically being four years in the making, Bong Joon-ho knows what he's looking to get out of a shoot, and typically where he wants to shoot. And that where can lead to a lot of different places, like in his record-setting film, Memories of Murder, which topped the number of locations utilized during a film in South Korea. This decision gives this film so much more mystery to it as each location has a new energy it brings to this thriller. Even in his obsessively well thought out directing, he still allows his actors to be free to interpret the roles and encourage improvisation. This allowance for change gives his projects this unique controlled chaos, with the best example being the off-the-wall performances from Song Kang-ho. One reoccurring theme in these is the rebellious nature of his characters against systems of oppression. Bong grew up majoring in sociology and was a member of the South Korean democracy movement of the late 80s. After serving for two years and then graduating, he struggled to make a living off making his films, at times not even being able to afford rice to eat. While these experiences are tied to his films, Bong still describes his work as not political, but cinematic. Always wanting to shoot films that deliver a sense of cinematic excitement, that's something I prioritize. While also recognizing the important context for his filmmaking, stating, I make films in South Korea. I can't really separate these characters from their history and social context, so naturally it leads to political commentary. This is most clear in his film Okja, which, while having a fun adventure, is not without its grounded harsh reality that we all know too well. But with its priority being its cinematic quality, it never feels like it's teaching you a lesson on the world's harsher realities. But more than anything, Bong Joon-ho's most notable quality is his ability to bring you into his own world with exuberant amounts of feelings you get out of it, only to leave you left asking what it all meant. To celebrate the release of Memories of Murder on Criterion, I decided to make a video about Bong Joon-ho's filmography because, god, this is one of the best directors we've ever seen. But in honor of celebrating this release, I'm doing another giveaway for Memories of Murder, the aforementioned film, which is my favorite of Bong Joon-ho's work. If you're interested in getting a Blu-ray copy of this film, all you have to do is comment your favorite Bong Joon-ho film and what your favorite aspect of his filmography is. Do both of those and I'll put you in a random giveaway lot and I'll pick a winner and it'll be one of my next videos once I get a hold of the copy. Thank you all for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed.